Two years ago, a mysterious FAA recording was released. It reveals two different airliners saw the same unidentified flying object pass above them, minutes apart. While looking through the story, we found something else. One day earlier, in the same 50-mile patch of sky in Arizona, an eyewitness on the ground captured remarkable footage. The video is of an object that may match what the pilot saw. We are about to explore one of the most compelling, but for some reason lesser known, UFO encounters on record. Subscribe to join us. February 2018, 3.30 p.m. near the Sonoran Desert National Monument, Southern Arizona. A Phoenix Air Learjet is flying east at 37,000 feet. It radios air traffic control in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, 7 Papa Golf. Number 7 Papa Golf, go ahead. And it was anybody that's uh, above us that passed us like 30 seconds ago. Number 7 Papa Golf, negative. Okay. Stop this. A UFO. Yeah. In case you missed that, the Learjet asked Albuquerque if any air traffic passed above them. The controller's response shows nothing was seen on radar. It's at that point when another pilot joined the frequency and suggested it was a UFO. But it's not that sighting that makes the story interesting. It's what happened next. The controller asks another airplane if they see anything. This is American Airlines Flight 1095 on a similar flight level flying behind the Learjet. American uh, 1095, uh, let me know if uh, you see anything pass over you here in the next uh, 15 miles. Do you know if anything passes over? American 1095 affirmative. We had an aircraft in front of you. It's uh, 37. that reported something pass over him, and uh, we didn't have any targets. So just uh, let me know if you see anything pass over you. Right. The Learjet pilot joins in. I don't know what it was. It wasn't an airplane, but it was... The path was going the opposite direction. Did you catch that? He tells American 1095 it wasn't an airplane. About a minute passes. American 1095 radios the controller. Hey, it's American 1095. Yeah, something just passed over. It's uh, like a... I don't know what it was, but it's at least two, 3,000 feet above us. So yeah, it passed right over the top of us. Okay, American 1095, thank you. American 1095, can you tell if it was uh, in motion or just uh, hovering? Make it out whether it was a balloon or whatnot, but it was just really beat the flight or so I had a big reflection on it several thousand feet above us going opposite direction. Okay, Roger. Here's the last line again. Make it out whether it was a balloon or whatnot, but it was just really beat the flight or so I had a big reflection on it several thousand feet above us going opposite direction. There are different transcriptions of this. Some media accounts claim he said it was a really beaming light or had a big reflection. Others claim it is inaudible. Next, another unknown pilot on the frequency asks, Was it a Google balloon? The American pilot responds, UFO. The encounter lasted just a few minutes. So, is it possible this has a conventional explanation? Well, here's what's interesting. A spokesperson for Google's Innovation Lab X told ABC News the object was not a project loan balloon. NORAD said its assets were also not involved. Afterwards, the Learjet captain said he had seen balloons at that flight level before, but a beam of light emitted from the object was so bright he couldn't tell what it was. The media covered this story, but it's since been forgotten. And that's a shame, because there's something else here. There may have been another sighting one day earlier. February 23, 2018. Chandler, Arizona, just 50 miles north of where the American and Learjet pilots would see a UFO the following day. This footage was captured by a YouTuber and is shown here with their permission. We have no altitude information, but he estimates the clouds are at 7,000 to 10,000 feet. The object is flying above them. It's worth pointing out, solar noon at this time of year was about a half hour earlier, so the sun is relatively overhead. Is this object reflecting light? Or is it, as the pilot thought, beaming light? We can't say for sure. 
but something interesting happens 57 seconds into the video. It lasts for only a few frames, but another object appears to enter from above and join with the UFO. Now, it's possible this second object is just a trick of the eye or a video artifact. But if it is another object, it mirrors this sighting of the UFO in Poland seen just a few months later. Two objects connect with one another. This isn't the first time UFOs have been observed merging. An Iranian Air Force encounter in 1976 documents a brightly lit object dispatching a second object to probe an F-4 jet. The obvious question is, what technology is capable of this? And more disturbingly, what is it doing in commercial flight paths? The February 2018 incident is hardly the first airliner encounter with unidentified objects in our skies. In 1986, a Japan Airlines cargo flight witnessed something above eastern Alaska. Two unidentified objects with rectangular arrays of glowing thrusters escorted the Boeing 747. At closest approach, they lit up the aircraft's cabin, and the captain could feel heat from the objects on his face. Shortly after, a larger disc-shaped object started trailing the plane. The sighting lasted almost an hour. One year later, an Alaskan Airlines flight made a different, yet just as peculiar observation over the state. At 35,000 feet, the pilot's onboard weather radar registered an object directly in front of them, 25 miles away. With every one-second radar sweep, the object traveled five miles, 18,000 miles per hour. A U.S. Air Force jet flying in the same area reported seeing a large disc-shaped object the following day. As for that key question, what are these objects doing? We don't know. We'll explore that in future videos. And if you've ever witnessed anything strange while in an airplane, leave a comment. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. We've really enjoyed making this channel. And if you've enjoyed watching our videos, consider joining them on Patreon. It really helps us produce the content on a regular basis. Another way you can help us out is by hitting the notification bell and sharing this video. See you next time.